Hi, primary children. It's another week for singing time. I'm excited to be back with you. Have you noticed we're seeing a little bit more sunshine? Yay! I love the sunshine. You've probably noticed some of the little roots are coming up, the little flowers are coming up in your yard, and we're going to start seeing little blossoms. Can you see I've got some little tiny white flowers on this? So I thought it would be fun to get our wiggles out and get started with singing time by singing Popcorn Popping on the Apricot Tree. church and when it was first begun by our prophet Joseph Smith in this dispensation. When this first started, some people were not very nice to our prophet Joseph Smith or his family or other people who were joining the church and it was really hard on them. During this time, the prophet Joseph Smith received a revelation that we can also find in the Bible about putting on the full armor of God. Do you know what that means? In Doctrine and Covenants 2715, it reads, Wherefore, lift up your hearts and rejoice, and gird up your loins, and take upon you my whole armor, that ye may be able to withstand the evil day, having done all that ye may be able to stand. I want you to look at this fun statue that I have. Can you see all the armor that, has, that this person has on? They have a helmet, a breastplate, Look at these arm shields, big gloves. Look at these sturdy boots. Everything to protect them and a sword as if they were actually going into a battle to fight someone. Do you think that's what the Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ meant when they told Joseph Smith that they needed to put, that he and the church members needed to put on a full armor? Do you think he actually wanted them to dress like this and head out every day? Or do you think maybe it was spiritually that he wanted them to arm themselves spiritually. I think that's really what he meant. So we're going to talk about all the different parts that Joseph Smith had in this revelation and what each of these parts symbolize. The first two things that he receives in his revelation and he talks about are the belt. You can see the belt here. And then the breastplate, this really sturdy part that protects the whole body or the organs are. And he compares this, the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness. And in that verse it says, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness. Every day we are learning from our parents, from our primary teachers, from other family members, and from other people who are good examples to us about the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we're also learning how to live more righteously. So we're putting on our pretend belt, think about putting on your belts, and then also thinking about guarding your whole body by living righteously every day. That's the first part of the armor that we've been talking about. So the belt and the breastplate. Now we're going to sing, I will be what I believe. words I'll stand on solid ground even though it's still hard with questions that arise every day I will say I'll help me my brother Joseph and the strength of the pioneers I'll be brave as a stripling warrior and like me I will be 
the gospel wide throughout all the earth with jesus as our guide we'll wield the sword of truth even though it's still hard with questions that arise every day i will say he talks a little bit about down here on the legs. What do we do to protect the legs? This guy has on really strong, sturdy boots. And Joseph Smith says in the Revelation that we should have your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Heavenly Father wants us to feel prepared. He wants us to feel peace in our lives. And some of the best ways that we can feel peace in our lives is when we understand the plan of salvation and the gospel plan that our Father in Heaven and Jesus Christ have for us. When we're prepared and we understand, then we can move forward. Just like if we have those big boots on, we can walk forward in the path that will take us back to live with our Father in Heaven again. So now we're going to sing, I Will Follow God's Plan. <laughs> kind of Marvel fans, you may see Captain America had a shield or something like this, and he would put it up, and anything that came at him would hit that instead of hitting him and hurting him. So what can we put in front of us to spiritually help us every day? Well, in this revelation, it says that if we will take the shield of faith, the verse says, take the shield of faith. For the shield of faith, we are going to sing the song, Faith. Faith is knowing 
part of the armor is a helmet. What do you think about my silly hat? I probably wouldn't go out every day wearing this hat, but in the scriptures, the comparison is that is the helmet of salvation. Jesus Christ came to this earth to die for us and then to be resurrected. Because he was resurrected, every single one of us have the opportunity to be saved in the kingdom of heaven with Jesus Christ and Heavenly Father. We all will have the opportunity to be resurrected. And in a couple weeks, we get to celebrate Easter, which is a remembrance of when Jesus Christ was resurrected. This next song, we haven't learned yet in primary, but it's a beautiful song called Risen. And I would love you to try to follow along. The words will be at the bottom and you can try singing this. And it will remind us that Easter is coming up and that Jesus Christ kind of gave us a helmet, something to protect us through his resurrection and the opportunity for us all to be safe someday with him. When darkness filled the sky, the day that Jesus died, in agony upon the bitter cross, they took his body down and laid it in a tomb. His friends believed that everything was lost. But when the third day came, the darkness turned to light. For Mary heard her.
The last part of this revelation was the sword. Do you remember that that soldier had a sword with him? This is the sword of my spirit. The sword represents that the Lord will send his spirit and there will be an outpouring of his spirit to help us make decisions, to help us when temptation comes along, to help us with anything that we need help with. As long as that we are saying our prayers and reading the scriptures and doing all that our Father in heaven has asked for us and doing our very best, we may not be perfect, but doing our very best, then Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ will send the spirit to help us get through whatever trials come our way. The song that we are going to sing with the sword today is Through the Still Small Voice. And hopefully we can think about how we personally feel the Spirit. learning about the whole armor of God today and how we can protect ourselves spiritually because there will always be hard times just like in the early church Joseph Smith and the members of the church who were having so many hard times but Heavenly Father promised them that if they would arm themselves spiritually with faith and prayer and living righteously and doing all those things that they would be blessed and the church would grow and you look at how big the church is now and how many members there are it's still not always easy to be a member of the church, but we have grown and we know that the church of Jesus Christ is true and alive here on the earth. And I'm so grateful for that. And I share these things today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.